Hi, this is Kaylee. And Adam. And here we are, the final game, Sea Division Finals, Pinburg 2012, and we're on Alien Poker. Why don't you tell us about this game, Adam? You have your standard bonus multipliers that are down by the flippers, but there's also a 2x, 3x, 4x group of multipliers to the right of that center bank. What do the different multipliers do? Well, so the regular standard multipliers work the way they work on every game, and you advance those by hitting whatever the blue whichever blue target is lit. To advance the, the important multipliers, which are at the center bank, you complete the uh, four kings up top. Ah, I see. And, and uh, how much how much can that be worth? If you are able to drop the ten jack, queen, king, and ace of diamonds in order, that's uh, worth 100,000 times that multiplier, which uh, can give you up to 400,000 points uh, on five payoff. shots. And wow. On this game, there's just not that many other points anywhere else, even if you get a bunch of big max bonus collect. And so that's absolutely the way to go. And it's that multiplier that really gives you the big points. So on balls, it's a three ball game. On balls one and two, there is a way to get back up to the Kings from either the left loop or the right loop. Both of them send you back up there. And I think that's all you do is you go up there and you try to complete your Kings. That multiplier sticks throughout the game. The other thing about the center bank, if you don't do it in order, it will reset all the, the drops that you have left to go. And so a lot of times if you haven't hit any yet, and you hit some out of order, it immediately resets them. And it's like, what? What's going on? Am I advancing bonus? But what you're doing is you're reducing your big payoff by completion by going from 100,000 down to 80, 60, 40, and as low as 20,000. Wow, well, that sounds huge. Well, let's see if uh, you know any of these players can uh, get that going and uh, see how this turns out. All right, and uh, we've got Jan as player one. He won the last game. Didn't get a full pull off the plunge, which should send it all the way up there, but he was able to uh, do a nice little uh, drop catch with the double flippers. Oh, man, needs some good lane change action here. He could have already had a completion, and yep. very Gets nice. Anyway. And we can see there he's lit uh, the multiplier on the center bank by completing his kings right off the bat, which and that's going to hold for all the balls here. Yeah, so that's a great start, whether he knows it or not. Oh, not quite around enough. Oh, good patience. Yeah, good read with uh, those uh, little... Uh, in passes there, and uh, he got it stuck on a little bit of a cupped insert. So there we see the uh, the playfield multiplier that he hit. I actually got it up to uh, 3x, I think. For the bonus, yeah. Yep. Hey, but you know, uh, it seemed like he had a pretty short, bad ball, but uh, getting those four kings uh, is worth a lot of points. Absolutely. That can uh, definitely come, come to help him out later on. So here's uh, Andrew. Oh. Never really got <laughs> there he says, oh boy, that was not very good, and yeah, it wasn't that great, but you still got two balls, so let's see how it goes. All right, the top, picks up uh, one of his king lights, again wants to try and complete that sequence, and uh, here, power's out, man. He hit the 10, though, in order, so he's still on, on pace, and that 10 will be down on his next ball. Uh, yeah, you know, this is uh, this one of those games that reminds me a lot of some of the older Gottliebs where you really kind of want to let the ball dead pass, let it settle, uh, kind of let it uh, put itself in control and then make your shot. If you really try and, uh, you know, force it too much, uh, you're going to get a lot of outlines. Yeah, and you and you really got to, as we see, Tyler was hitting that center bank, but not in order, and you can see that the, uh, the bonus for that bank dropped all the way off who uh, basically turned off. And it's basically, it basically turned itself off. The, the bank is yeah. worth crap. And now he has to clear through that whole bank to reset it back up to the 100,000. <laughs> but, you know, his, his main objective here uh, right now, like you were saying, would be to do a completion uh, on the Kings, and he's just got one. Uh, another one would be nice. Yeah. And he's going to have to get through that bank at least once to uh, reset it to get some points off the completion. Uh, you know, and that was a nice kind of little... Uh, Save down there at the bottom, but you know that was looking a bit sketchy. Like he might let it between that uh, yeah, right flipper. A, you know, everybody's thinking about that, especially on camera. Yeah, and he wants to uh, pussyfoot it through the uh, split flipper there. What would be worse? All right. Yeah, Tyler's having a good ball here. He uh, unfortunately doesn't have enough points to uh, have a chance to win this thing. So I think he's probably playing a little more relaxed than the other guys right now because he really has nothing to lose. Yep, and he has, uh, you know, the, the better he can do, the more he can gain. So uh, he actually completed a bunch of kings there and got his multiplier up to 4x, which will, uh, if he can get to completing a bank, uh, that, that could help him out. So uh, Jan completed one bank at 2x, 
And uh, let's see if he starts for that center bank. Well, he's just he lost. And, uh, see how it reset so. the uh, potential hundred thousand once he uh, successfully made a couple shots there. And yeah, he, you're right. And then he lost. Uh, and then he lost one by missing. Yeah, so, so it can build back up uh, yes. as long as you're getting them in order. Yep. And, uh, it looks like he, you know, that, that's the key to this game is letting it dead bounce right to left. It's the left flipper that really lets you attack those drops, and it seems like Jan really knows what he's doing there. Uh, he's got three of the five down, and those three will be down at the start of his last ball. Wow, and that will be worth a lot of points in that final ball. Yep. All right, so here's Andrew, and... Uh, no, he uh, hasn't uh, got much going on yet. He's uh, getting close on uh, those kings. Sort of had a... Oh, wow, that's like two houses see that in a row. From a mile away. Yep. Yeah, I don't know about a house lit. ball. At, uh, coming into the top of that left sling, you could tell where it was going. Yeah. About uh, 14 inches out. So uh, here's Chris. At uh, 140 from Jan is uh, in the lead right now. See, Chris, earlier in this... Uh, was letting that sort of ball dead bounce over, but I don't know whether he trusts the double flipper. That was, uh, but it's really about, if you can't get the ball on the left flipper, you cannot make good shots at that center bank. Yeah. Uh, it's a good loop shot to get it back around. Only got one rollover, though. There's a dead bounce over. Okay, so. oh, nice, nice shot on the center bank. Oh, and, uh, oh man. Close. It's to uh, hit that queen down. And, uh, oh. and just, just kind of coming one shot off each time. Yeah, which is, that's, that's unlucky because even a regular no multiplied completion, uh, the way this, the way the scores are in this game, could be enough to uh, win the game for somebody. You know, uh, Chris isn't playing as controlled as he has been in these other games we've seen, and you know I think uh, this is just a really uncomfortable game to play on in general with that right flipper setup. So I'm, I'm not surprised. Yeah, if you don't play a lot of alien poker, the, the setup of the flippers is absolutely uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> it feels weird. I mean, you know, you're not you're not sure whether you're supposed to let a dead pass when it's coming in, especially you know, when it's close to the double, you know, in the crook. Yeah, it can be be hard to uh, get a hang of it. And you're so worried about tuning your brain to uh, making sure that you don't try to do, you know, have the ball go between the flippers <laughs> that uh, you can end up flipping on the fly a lot more. Now, uh, Tyler has uh, maxed out the 4x uh, multiplier from last ball and got a few more that would have maxed it anyway, but unfortunately for Tyler, he's unable to get it on his left flipper, and so he can't really take advantage of that multiplier right now um, and get, get solid shots on that center bank. Yeah, yeah, unless you're doing, uh, you know, some pretty technical uh, drop catches or live catches here on those... Uh Right flipper set up. Yeah, that, that center bank isn't really something and you it's shoot not, off. And I don't, he's not going for a center bank here. He's just trying to put it back up. It's working for him. Yeah, you know, he's using the high gravity strategy, get it up top. Uh, he's uh, actually uh, in the lead now at 220,000. So here we are on uh, ball three. And uh, Jan is only uh, two shots away from, from getting a decent payoff. And let's see if he can get those targets. And then also re reset it. So he's at 100,000. Oh, nice, just one so more. He's 200,000 points away. Get that his scores. Settle. Boom. Oh, there that's it is. a super jackpot. That nice. could very well win him the Pinburg Championship. That's uh, awesome. Excellent play, and I would suggest that uh, Jan uh, knew this game, and he knew what he was doing. He got yeah, his multiplier, and then he went after, uh, in the correct order, that center bank. And uh, his score... Uh, Reflects that. Uh, that was excellent. And if, you know, the best time, last game of the finals. Yeah, and, you know, he's uh, he's playing really well. He's managing his uh, right flippers nicely, yep. and uh, seems really comfortable with wins who hold them up. So Look at that! Even a little upper cradle catch. Perfect catch. <laughs> oh, we're doing a little Josh Sharp. Yeah, well, having a sip of water maybe, a little pat on the back. That's uh, odd that he would do that. Then I didn't see him ever pause like that. <laughs> the other time. Ooh, rolls down to the uh, lower flipper there. That, that was, was a, a little sketchy uh, flip yeah, there too. Uh, yeah. He almost let it uh, could have bounced funny. That was sort between. of how his uh, his his oh, don't tilt. That's an excellent ball though. He finishes up at five hundred and fifty three thousand. Fantastic. Uh, and now, if you don't know the game, 
Andrew and uh, Chris would be scratching their heads saying, well, geez, how did he get up to 500 Yeah, you're thinking, I've got 35K. I mean, <laughs> where's, the, where's the 10X score multiplier, 20X score? That's right. And, uh, you know, Andrew, if he can make the shots, he, you know, looks like, yeah, he's just not, uh, okay, he's back up to 100,000. Oh! And, you know, it's, it's interesting, you know, you, like you said, it's very hidden how you multiply that center bank. So, for all we know, the, these players uh, saw him pick up big points off a of center bank completion, and now they're thinking, hey, that's what I need to do. Without if they're not multiplied. Yeah. He's got a 2x. He's one shot away from 160,000. That that's last drop points. is uh, 160. Definitely get back into this. Oh, that was a good little save. And... Oh man, keeps getting yeah, in there. He picks there it up. Oh, oh, and the pussy flip through, through the flippers. So oh man, he finishes at two hundred fifty-five thousand. It's uh, a nice ball, but uh, you know you got to be a bit frustrated with yourself letting it uh, come through like that. All right, so here's Chris. Here's Chris. Uh, see if he can uh, get a little more comfortable. Oh, oh no, and there it is. Not comfortable. So uh, it is. I want to say it is over. I believe Jan Anderson had six wins at that point, so yes, he can do no worse than uh, Tyler uh, can affect the outcome here. We'll see how he does on his last ball. Uh, he was actually playing this pretty pretty swell. He's got the uh, the huge multiplier on the center bank, but it didn't seem yeah. like he oh, was never man. able to really clue into that center bank on off the left shot. And so, Jan Anders Nilsson is your C Division champion for 2012. And congratulations. Fantastic job. That was a really, really exciting match. And uh, Andrew Berdlicka came in second place. Chris Rhodes took third place. And Tyler Sutton with in fourth place. Uh, and there's some pretty good play here. There's a tremendous amount of pressure in the finals, especially playing under the lights and under the camera with uh, people watching everything you do. And uh, I thought these guys all played pretty well, Kaylee. Yeah, you know, they played great. And, you know, what, uh, watch from the start, I, I thought for sure uh, Chris Rhodes was going to come out on top. You know, he had some uh, great ball uh, ball time on attack, that first ball, and played hot tip uh, very nicely. But, uh, you know, it's interesting how uh, players start to settle in. You know, Jan really, uh, you know, found his place, and, uh, you know, he uh, really performed really well. Uh, everyone enjoyed watching this, uh, watching this series of matches, and I'm sure afterwards... Uh, Mark Steinman, our great uh, sound guy, will uh, and editor, will uh, have some uh, A division matches uh, ready to uh, for us to maybe watch next time. Yeah, stay tuned for more uh, great matches. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.